Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Paladins closed beta that's made by High Rare Studios that's out on PC currently that's finally in its closed beta stage for both Xbox One and PS4. Now, before I get started actually talking about the beta itself, now if you guys want to sign up for the beta, you can do a multitude of things like following them on their Twitch account or their Twitter account, or you can go to GameSpot and sign up there below, which I will be leaving a link to the GameSpot article where you can sign up for the Paladins beta in the description box below, so you know, check that out at the bottom if you want to sign up for this beta and try it out it'll be in the description box below where you can sign up for both xbox one and playstation 4 i'll drop both links to both signups so i'll do you be doing you guys a favor now let's talk paladins 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 a lot of people gave this game some flack when it was first shown because they called it an overwatch clone and they said oh this is ripping off overwatch it's trying to beat what overwatch and blah 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 folks i'm gonna tell you guys now it is nothing like Overwatch. Some characters have Overwatch resemblances, and that's really it. That is really it. Some characters feel like they combine Overwatch moments and, and, and characters in one character itself, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. It is nothing like Overwatch beside character resemblances from minuscule weapons like you see Fernando with the shield and Droxes that looks like Reaper and he has the McCree revolver and that's really it that's really the most you're gonna get out of any resemblance to overwatch now I will say Paladins is its own game but it does borrow heavily from some other games it borrows heavily from overwatch it borrows from smite because it's made by hot res of course and it borrows from like Battleborn and, and Paragon in certain moments now you're thinking how does it borrow from Paragon and Battleborn. Now, I'm going to say it borrows from Paragon because you're building the deck of your character, which is something you do in Smite, yes, but you're building your character with decks and, and cards to improve your character. You can have your loadout, kind of. I know Paragon does that from the from what I've played of Paragon. I know Paragon lets you build your characters and mold them to have this really cool deck and everything. Now, I'm not saying you go that deep with the deck in this game or the cards you pick. You can pick five cards for your character, and that's really about it, but it does... It does leave your character with some boosts and some skills and some attributes that you will need, like Paragon, of course. Now, you're wondering, how does it take from Battleborn? Now, it doesn't take from Battleborn like that. It, it feels like Battleborn when you play in the FPS mode and the art style, and that's that's really about it. That's the most I will say that it feels like close to Battleborn with that. And you're wondering, Overwatch, like I just explained, it does borrow from some Overwatch characters. Now, Paragon, I'm not Paragon, Paladins itself i do like this game this game is pretty fun it's pretty unique the characters do feel fun to play with my favorite two characters in this beta right now are victor the soldier 76 style character and drogos the big dragon rocket user he is pretty cool i think those two are like my favorite to use the first time i played this game actually i picked up kinesa the sniper chick who was just who has like sniper that can turn into a, a submachine gun she can teleport and just take off heads easily i actually enjoy this game for what it is it's pretty cool it, it's it's nothing like overwatch or other mobas out there it may borrow from a lot of mobas heavily with certain things but it isn't anything like overwatch or other ones out there it actually is its own game and it's actually pretty cool now i will say i like the cast of characters the cast of characters are unique you have your own very different cast of characters that each range in certain styles i like that they have descriptions for characters you have ones that mainly do damage you have the ones that's supposed to be on the front line you have characters that specifically design the flank and you have characters that's made to support and just stand in the back i like that they have these descriptions for these characters giving new players the insight on all right here's how you're going to play this character and this is what you're supposed to do not like overwatch where they tell you the character and what like they tell you the character they show the skills and you got to just learn how to play them on your own i like that it actually gives you the insight on how to utilize that character now one thing i will say i dislike about uh paladins is that i just i don't like the fact that i have to play in casual mode i have to play against bots until i'm level five I extremely, extremely, extremely dislike that because I didn't want to have to do that 
just to play the other modes against actual online competitors. Now that that actually turned me off a little bit just for the simple fact that I had to sit through many a match where I thought I was playing against actual people, but it never showed the game attack. I thought that was just like a thing that they built inside the game or design, but no, I actually had to sit there and play through like many many matches against bots until I was like level five or so just to actually play the game against people now that kind of turns me off because in smite you can just run straight into arena play against people and you can play in rank if you want to well not like competitive but actual like siege mode or whatever and just like have a good time doing it but I don't like that I have to play through this against bots to actually start playing in some type of actual online mode because it, 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 it gets kind of boring you think you're playing against actual people that are really bad but it didn't hit you it didn't hit me until like I got through the game and I was like what these people are kind of bad but then I realized I'm playing like actually against bots I thought they were just hiding the gamer tag which that's on me I will say that the game modes itself are fun you have the competitive one one life mode where you have to stay alive where you have to watch what you're doing you have to watch what you, how you build your character and utilize that deck that you have and things like that i actually like that mode the most and when you actually play the payload mode against actual people that is like some of the most fast paced and intense stuff that uh that i've played like i love overwatch you guys know i love me some overwatch to death but that mode is, is insane now, one thing I will say I dislike about Paladins is that some of these characters, man, are extremely overpowered. Now, I know what you're thinking, it may be on the deck that you have or whatever the case may be, but some of these characters, deck or no deck, build or no build, they're overpowered completely. Victor is a great character, but he is overpowered. Um, the chick with the two knives, Maeve, I think that's what her name is, she's very overpowered. Uh, it's a couple more characters. I don't know their names yet, but some of them are just extremely overpowered. One guy has a shield, and he can stay in that shield, and he's just chopping away at health. And I think his name is Torvald. It, like a lot of these characters are, are overpowered to the maximum. A lot of these characters need a couple buffs, a couple nerfs. Some of these characters need to get like taken care of, and like they don't all feel like equal. Overwatch has a thing where all the characters feel equal. Smite has a thing where some characters are kind of broken, but you can still compete against them and actually win. Battleborn had the system like that where you can actually compete and still win against certain overpowered characters, air quotes. But in this, a lot of characters are like legit broken. And that's something that does need to be fixed in, in like actual, I don't know if this game is going to be free to play or, or like retail release, but if it is retail release, that needs to be touched up. And if it's free to play, then I'm not sure if they're going to touch it up or not, if it's going to be free to play. But I am enjoying this. This game is actually pretty good. A lot of people are probably going to sleep on this or just still believe it's Overwatch coming from watching some of the clips I have. It's not, guys. Like, give it an actual chance. Play it. Try it out. If you don't like it from the closed beta, then you, you just don't like it. Now, I will say having to go against bots just to start the game off is kind of a turn off. I, don't, I didn't like doing that myself. You think you're like going in crazy and just having a good time, but it, it that kind of turned me off. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The game does have an in-depth system with the cards and, and trimming it up and picking up which loadout you want to utilize and stuff like that. I like things like that. I like that you can buy the buffs that you need or the perks and, and like just you can't like go crazy and buy every perk in that one section but actually buy like the things you really need to utilize and keep it up. Like I usually go with protection from like direct attacks, fast reload just you know getting multipliers on my health outside of combat i always stick with those kind of unique items and systems and um the cooldown method that's just that's just my build now if you ever see me online then you know how i play it <laughs> but that's really how like i utilize it and just play this game is pretty good yes i know some people think it's a, it's a overwatch clone but look outside the box guys give it a try I'm telling you guys, you would be surprised at how good it is for this type of game. This game is pretty good. It's pretty dope. Um, I don't think I'd be spending $20 to actually buy the Founders Pack, though. 
I'll probably use, utilize free rotation if it's free to play. That's it's my opinion. Uh, it's great. Uh, if I really, really enjoy it, I might put the 20 in. I might just put the 20 in because I do find myself enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. But that's it, guys. So uh, if you are playing Paladins, you know, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about the game. If you aren't playing Paladins, I will give you guys a link in the description box below where you can sign up for the actual Paladins beta for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Um, what do you think about Paladins? Do you think it's an Overwatch clone? Do you enjoy the game? Do you not enjoy the game? What do you think of the clips that I'm showing you guys today? Do you like the gameplay? Um, share your thoughts with me in the comments below. Also, I have more reviews for you guys coming. I got Halo Wars 2, Nier Automata, Neo, Yakuza 0, Resident Evil 7. I've been working on these reviews for a minute, guys. And I'm trying to get every single one out to you guys. So I thank you guys for watching. Also, Ocean Horn and Chime Sharp will be having a review. The reviews will also be written alongside. So you can check them out on TGN.com while you watch the video. And until next time, until the next video, guys, I thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. Also, I got top player of the game this match. This was a great match. I was going there. Hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. If you're new, hit that like button. If you're a returner, you know, show some love, share the link, share the wealth. Until next time, until the next video, guys. Well, tune in, turn up, and throw it down. I'm out, and thank you for watching. And oh my god, I was going in this game. But thank you for watching, and uh, hit that like and subscribe. I'm out.